in the video, Black Star. Wow. I mean, that was just amazing. And the mind is so wonderful. You know what? I'm going to open up that laptop because I have some clips I want to play. Because if you look at the mind and you just actually unfold the brain, it is so amazing. And the neurons and the dendrites, just, we are wonderfully made. That's all I got to say. You know, maybe there is something wrong with the dumpster. Hopefully it's an AVM, an articular vein malfunction. That's one step before an aneurysm. I could only pray for such a thing. I could only pray. So, um, <laughs> yeah, she's probably listening right now. And uh, I guess I could say, I hope that you will not die. But I also hope that you are forever silenced. And you learn to leave people alone. I mean, this is wrong, the things that you do. But anyway, I'm just trying to, to clear up. I wanted to do this other night to tell the truth about what I need to be true about Laszlo. It really freaked me out that he took the girl's underwear. I, mean, I will say that. I kind of expected that he would smear stuff everywhere after he got high with her son. And, and you got to think about this. He had a big selection of bongs, apparently, in his room. You know, when she got swatted, the her his room and her room, the two kids, were locked because they were considered different, like, renting a room. But you have to have, like, apartment A, apartment B above the door. I just, I don't know. I, I think that whole video that I have... She put a video out there of her being swatted. I don't even think that was a swat. I just don't know. I think they did this to get money from the city. I really do. You know, I talked to the Wiley Price. I think, is it Wiley Price? I know the last, time, last name is Price. I talked with their office, and I almost got to interview him. I almost did. Hey, Rose. And, um... Was unable to. I forget. There was something that came up for him. Something weird. But anyway, they sounded like an upstanding group of people. I don't know. Sometimes you lose a bonding license for a reason. You don't have Skype now? I, know, I think something's going on with Skype. And every time... I'm going to ask my chat room about this. When you go to your email, if you get something from Spreaker, let's say Anna sends you something, um, I get all types of warnings like not to open it or that the file's not safe. So I think maybe Spreaker itself has some type of problem with it. Um, and maybe it's connected with Skype as well. I don't know. But uh, it's great to have Polly and Desert Rose and even Big Bill with us. Let's see. So I'm just going down memory lane. Because I was trying to talk about this the other night. When I tried to have a Skype call. Rose, I couldn't figure out the um, settings for it. Whatever. And we all know that Stabby just humors the dumpster. We get it. That's why we can forgive you. Oh, you know what? She's really not important enough to hate. The dumpster is not important enough to hate. But I do like to clarify some of the lies and some of the... Um, she tries to give everyone the wrong viewpoint. An inaccurate viewpoint. And we all know she's stupid. And there's no law against being stupid. So, and... You know, if we put water on Stabby, he's probably going to melt. Because he's been drinking the dumpster juice for a while. Or he's putting on a good show. I don't know which one it is. So, but I am working on being more entertaining. Like to, to be able to take Skype calls. And, and then that way I can do more interviews. And I can't wait to do that. I really miss that. I played a... Um, last night I played some audio from an old BTR show I did. 
you know, um, I, it said Todd Chimp out. It was back when someone didn't like it when you liked a guy show. Do you remember that, Rose? Oh, and I just didn't know what to do because if I hung up on them, they were going to attack me. And I tried to make a platform for people to work it out. And Todd was chimping out. But I forgot that uh, this one person admitted that he had done all those videos, uh, you know, those different sites. So I need to isolate those and, and work with it. The little headset. Okay, well, yeah, I would really like that. Um, it's midnight here, and thankfully I don't have to get up early. But uh, I've been having to go to some rehearsals and improv on Saturday. So my night time's been a little bit different. And I'll be so glad when all this rehearsal is over. And then we have the Martin Luther King Parade that we'll be in. And uh, we have meetings Friday for it. It's just so drama filled in Tulsa, Oklahoma, I cannot tell you. i got to change the name of this podcast. But, um, wow. I mean, it's just a little bit bizarre here. We ha we've been having a share problem, right? You know, I helped get... With our group, We the People of Oklahoma, we got the main sheriff of 27 years to resign. And then two deputies resigned. One deputy was fired, and he was actually a nice deputy. We didn't want him to get fired. But anyway, the undersheriff then became the sheriff. And he has recently resigned. That happened Tuesday. And it was all because of the meeting he had with the county commissioner. This is kind of funny. They got physical in this fighting, in the meeting. It was over the budget. Something about chiropractor or physical therapy, they didn't want to cut it from the budget. So I'm thinking, we don't even have our street lights on in Tulsa, and you're going to want physical therapy? I mean, do you really have to have a contract? So the county commissioner and the acting sheriff went at it. I mean, they really went at it. And then Weigel is his last name, the sheriff, or the former sheriff, he goes, fine then, I'll quit. And of course the county commissioner said, I accept. And just kind of imagine the music man, that type of charades. And Wow. And now the new sheriff, a woman, the first woman sheriff that we have, does not live in Tulsa County. This is a problem. You know, she shouldn't even be a deputy with not living in Tulsa. She's not registered to vote. I mean... What the hell is the Tulsa County Sheriff Department thinking of? You know? Wow. No wonder they're losing the jail. Can you only imagine how their jails run? They can't even get a decent sheriff. Um, I'm on my phone right now. I have to grab the other computer and start over. If I can learn how to do the settings, I can accept phone calls, or at least Skype calls. And I can do interviews of people that I'm dying to interview. I mean, I can't wait. I've been doing phone banks for Bar Bernie Sanders as well. Been pretty busy. It's kind of hard to get everything to fit in. Um, you know, homeschooling, and then the, the rehearsals, finding time to podcast, phone banks. Uh, rescuing a church. Did you guys know that I helped rescue a church? Like they had a bulldozer in front of the church and they were going to tear the church down. But no, four people from our group, we showed up. And it was the first church of Okmogee, Oklahoma. I'm kind of proud of this. And they did this on a Sunday. Of all days to do this, they did it on a Sunday. And uh, they were going to tear the property down with this bulldozer. Are just so crooked, so awful. And it was the first church, and it was built by freedmen, or the family of freedmen, like the, the kids of freedmen, in 1906. Yeah, I think I am missing one steps. But it's been pretty exciting. That was the Sunday before last. We rescued the church, and then we worked on the Vision 2025 meetings. That's been the last three nights. Then, of course, we helped out with the sheriff. <laughs> and he made a, 
comment in one of the papers, the former Sheriff Weigel. And he goes, at least we don't have protesters outside our door. That's us. <laughs> but it feels good to make a difference. I really encourage people. I don't know what your world is like. But if you can make a difference in at least one person's world, then I think you're doing great. I think that's wonderful. I think that's what we should strive to do, is to make your world or someone else's world a little bit better. And maybe they'll try to make a difference in someone else's life. You know, that domino effect, I think that's great. Hey, Reds. Hey, Reds. But, um... My first 19 minutes were dead air, and I was tucking up a storm. And the Laszlo story was just so much better in that rendition. I'm just, oh, Laszlo is just so nasty. Yeah. In my opinion. It's just not my cup of tea. I like to drink tea. I know some people like coffee, iced coffee, but I like my tea. Lots of different types of tea. So, um... As far as interviews, well, as some people know, for the past 10 years, I've worked in the area of safe vaccines. My, my list, my dream list, would, my dream interview would be to interview former Ambassador Mohammed Sarkavi. And he and I would talk on Twitter, and we'd actually send some emails back and forth just about United Nations policy to be honest on that, and the Justice Court. He helped, or he founded and came up with the idea of the Justice Court for war crimes. He'd been the former ambassador from Bosnia to the United Nations, and he even served time for a crime he did not commit. I mean, if there's going to be a badass of the United Nations, that's Muhammad. Mm. And he's not Muslim. I don't know how he got the name Muhammad, but he's not Muslim. So, um, that's life. So, let's see who's, I guess Polly likes coffee. I know Rose likes coffee. And Mr. White drinks coffee and water. I drink tea and water, but what's tea? It's, um, tea and some water. I mean, that's all it is. Okay, well, I've got to grab the other computer as soon as I find it. There's only one computer I could get the VB cable to work correctly on and I'm still working on my computer getting the files off of it I had no idea I mean a picture could take up so much space and I had thousands of pictures on it and then of course all the audio so um, I don't know life is good how's life for you guys I really like to hear Mr. White's music I heard it earlier on the guy show alright and um that was interesting. I'm trying to think of what's really big that's coming up. I'm starting a new homeschool group. That should be interesting. And what the hell was I thinking? I, ever since I got out the morphine, I feel like I'm waking up. It's the weirdest experience. I feel more capable. And, um... Oh, you get the boot off? Sorry, I got distracted. Rose is had surgery on her ankle and she had this boot thing on it and it comes off on Friday. Friday's the day she can walk. That is cool. That is cool. I'm so happy for you. I mean, I really, truly am happy for you, Rose. You know, I hope it was successful, that everything they wanted to do within that surgery was successful, that you had the desired result, less pain and more mobility Maybe you can throw that cane away now, you think? Mm. Excuse me, I'm drinking some water. At least I'm not munching down on something. Up, stayed back. Bop, bop, bop. So is Todd having a show on Talk to you? Because I imagine he's quite upset. I haven't been in touch with my brother, but I am concerned. You know, Guy Shay really, really went hard for Rose. Now, Rose has an effect on lots of men. They're enamored of her. They adore her. They love her. Some of them worship her. That's why she has to have that whip. 
you know, to kind of beat them back. She does.